Hello everyone, it is Nairman and Solaris Paradox again with a quick ramble on Sonic Colors and I guess Sonic 4. <laughs> we say quick, but you know, knowing how our Sonic 4 impressions video went, and we're probably going to be here for another hour and a half based on five seconds of teaser CG. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Sonic Colors, huh? Um, what? <laughs> The funny thing about that title is it's probably going to be nowhere near as blatantly kitty as Sonic Heroes was. <laughs> so, yeah. It looks like it's all watercolored. It's weird. It, it looks that way in a good way, though. I suppose. It, it looks vibrant. It looks interesting. The, the, the CG environment, I say CG because it's CG, not the Wii graphics, but the CG environment used in the, in the teaser was stunning. And the wisps sound interesting. They basically sound like like, they sound like power flickies. ups. They sound like flickies. They sound like flickies, except actually good. Yeah. <laughs> they, when they listed they, the power ups, it said one was a drill, and I'm like, ugh, you're already copying Mario Galaxy Two, Sega. And really? then one's a la and then one's a laser, which is actually something vaguely new, vaguely unique. Sonic runs fast enough as it is. Now <laughs> yeah. we have to turn him into a laser. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? He's got a boost gauge and might as well take it to the next level. The, the thing that interests me in Sonic Colors is from the description, it sounds like it's basically just Sonic Unleashed Wii version with weirdo power-ups and no werehog. No Huzzah! And considering the reception to Sonic Unleashed, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what our next two so major console Sonic games are. Uh, is 3D Sonic with Probably more emphasis on platform and platforming and mission-based gameplay, and uh, and no werehog-ish kind of things. Which I would applaud greatly. Uh, yeah, to be honest, even though I prefer the 360 version, even the even the Wii versions unleashed gameplay was pretty damn fun. Heads and tails above on rails gameplay, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and. It's just the the thing about the thing that really gets me about this game is the title. Okay, the concept is interesting, and I, I, the design for the wisps that's pretty cool. And sun and the whole theme park in space thing, rather than giving me a, a galaxy vibe, it's giving me a Knuckles Chaotix vibe actually, which isn't all, which isn't necessarily a good thing because Chaotix was bland as hell, but. Uh, but yeah, I liked the art and environments in that. And this doesn't look like it's going quite in that direction, but it does look like it's going to feel kind of like the same thing, if that makes any sense. Just a lot of colors and shit. You know? It's the Sega 32X on the Wii! <laughs> yeah, fail hardware on fail hardware. It's almost a time paradox in itself. <laughs> But um, but the thing the, about the the, the title sounds the title sense. makes it sounds like a Sonic coloring book, or at no. least in conjunction with the way it looks, it looks really really <laughs> kitty. No, just the just this the way it sounds. Sonic colors. That's a sentence in itself. Sonic noun colors verbs. Sonic is coloring. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Sonic teaches typing. I'll give them credit. They made the logo look decent, even when it has that stupid extra U that you stupid Brit fags add to all your stupid words because, because well, apparently... There goes, there goes Reggie, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, suck it, crumpet boy. Suck it. Anyway, uh, no, but seriously, the logo looks fine. It's just that the, the title... The, the title... I'm going to spend an hour and a half rambling about how stupid the title sounds now. It's like someone has to have been has to have known this when they when they when they made the, the stupid title. Someone has to have thought of this. But, you know, if you've uh if you checked on TSSZ where they apparently have this source saying that it's more aimed at kids than anything. Well, that wouldn't surprise me considering, you know, one, it's Sonic, and two, the way it's designed, at least visually. Yeah. Which, but you, you know, know that, it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that... Yeah. You know, fan reactions to this are really getting on my nerves. Because, for one, people are reacting to this so much more positively than they were to Sonic 4. Based on what? Five seconds of CG? As opposed to five seconds of gameplay? On a 
on a gameplay style, which may very well wind up being the same old gimmicky crap for all you know, as opposed to 3D, as opposed to 2D classic style Sonic, which is 2D classic style Sonic, which you already know is good. Why is this getting the positive reactions and Sonic 4 getting all the negative backlash over something as mundane as a character model and all that shit from, from, from exactly the word go? Unpleasable fan base, that's what. <laughs> no, no, they're being pleased. They're just being pleased by the wrong damn announcement. It's like, why? Just why? And... And, you know, the negative reactions are as unreasonable as normal when they do pop up. I mean, we get a Mario Galaxy ripoff thing going, which is the only Galaxy-ish thing going I see is the space thing and the, the drill, drill. And as for the space thing, I'd like to point you in the direction of Sonic Adventure 2 and gleefully declare that Sonic did Mario Galaxy years before Mario Galaxy in two separate levels. <laughs> so, yeah. If anything, Mario ripped Sonic off for a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Just with but, no treasure hunting. <laughs> The other thing is that people are looking at the TSSC article saying that it's developed by the same team as Black Knight and in the same vein as Black Knight and saying, oh, it's going to be the same gimmicky crap. I'm sorry, but that's a bit of a, a, bit of a strong pronouncement you got going there. I mean, what was good in Black Knight? The storytelling presentation, the graphics, the, the writing, the sound. And the, the soundtrack, yes. Basically everything except the, the questionable game. sword gameplay and the on-rails mechanics. So, if you take out the sword and add in Unleashed-style gameplay and give us everything else, the writing, the graphics, the soundtrack, all the stuff that Black Knight got right, basically you're taking what Sonic Unleashed we got right, throwing it together with what Black Knight got right, and theoretically, that package should be made entirely of win. Theoretically, Why, it's, it's being made by Sega after all. Theoretically, but I'm just saying that the, gra- that the chances of that are actually s- quite a bit better than the chances of another Black Knight. Especially considering what the, the game is being advertised as. There's a hint in Nintendo Power, as I've been hearing, that the game is going to be no gimmicks. Which is kind of actually well, not true. entirely true. Considering, considering we're getting gimmicks. There. But, but the, the Wisps sound and very much probably will act more just like power-ups than anything. And nobody would say no to the return of the Elemental Shield, so I don't see why they should say no to the Wisps if the Wisps are indeed just power-ups. Yeah. And they sound like infinitely more interesting power-ups than the, than the Elemental Shields, to be fair. They're flickies. Nah. <laughs> They're flickies, except good... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Sonic 3D Blast all over again, Rob. <laughs> I hope they don't pull that you need to collect the stuff, to, the, the flickies, to get to the end of the levels. I, I doubt they'll do that. This is like, I could understand, I could actually take that if it was just like certain missions in the levels. Like, you don't have to do it in every single level of every single stage, but... It's like if there's one mission in every level where you have to collect a certain number of, of wisps, I, can un- I could take that, you know? That, that would actually kind of be fun to me. Doing an entire game of that, my god, I hope not. Probably not, though. Kind of fuck up the, the, the speed flow. I'm, I'm actually predicting something of a Sonic and the Secret Rings structure to this, where you have a small handful of levels and a whole lot of missions. You know what? Scratch that. Not a Sonic and the Secret Rings uh, structure. No, let, let, let's take that back to where it first started. This is a Super Mario Sunshine structure. <laughs> Mario did it before Sonic did. <laughs> and Mario did actually did it quite a bit worse, in my humblest opinion. But, um... But yeah, I'm I'm predicting a, a relatively small handful of levels, probably more than we got in uh, in Secret Rings. But I'm but I'm predicting a lot of missions per every level. Well, it's it's supposedly on a theme park, so you could potentially have more environments. Yeah, based on different areas of it. But... We don't really have much to go on as far as the gameplay well, goes. We'll but... probably see it at E3 in a couple of weeks. 
There's also a six-page preview coming in the next Nintendo Power. It's oh, even like got a, like Nintendo Power actually reports anything. Well, yeah, but it's a six-page preview, so oh, it will be well, online before they get it out. Trust me. <laughs> even if Nintendo Power isn't saying anything themselves, they're getting all the in- the official released info. Oh. <laughs> so what Sega wants us to hear, we'll hear, which is more than two seconds of gameplay. Speaking of, I like the ti- I like the jingle. The, the music jingle in the in the teaser it just seems really catchy to me it seems like a perfect it seems even it seems like a perfect classic 